In the last video, I just qualified for the 2K League 5v5 combine. But now there is a 3v3 2K League event. And the 2K League does not only have a 5v5 Pro League, but they also have a 3v3 Pro League too. So today, I'm going to be competing in this six hour event where if I place top five, I get unlimited boost and other rewards. But if I place top three, I will get an invite to the 3v3 combine too. So drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and let's get this thing started. I got heat check and take over. I got heat check and take over. Cool. Oh my God. Oh my God. They cannot mess with me. We just lost again. Yo, we are selling this event. Grabbing good foul. What? What? Yo, I'm in six. We have to lock in. Three seconds left in the event. Oh my. I did not just do that. Oh, the buzzer. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, a.k.a. Double H, back at it with yet another banger. Y'all make sure to drop a look at the video, hit that subscribe button. As you can see, we are right in front of the event center before the event starts, ready to get ready for this 3v3 event, giving out unlimited boost for top five. And like I said, top three for draft eligibility for the 3v3 and 5v5 league. So as you can see, as soon as the event starts, we go into the event center. Now I'm gonna talk about my lineup in a second, but by the way, this is all streamed on my Twitch and YouTube. So if you're in, if you're obviously you're watching this on YouTube, Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you know when I go live. And if you want to follow the Twitch, the Twitch is double H's on the screen now. Link in the description. Go follow the Twitch as well. But I was playing with my boy Eternal Pep on lockdown and my boy Swizer Turn on center and my new six foot six shooting guard build. I'm going to pop up on the screen randomly in this video, this six six shooting guard build. So you guys, I don't have to upload another video. The build, you guys can just see it in this video as long as you watch the video all the way through. But as you see, it is a six hour event. And before I go over what the lineup is, here's me, my reaction to my center builds before the event starts all right guys we are here before the event right now we got 12 minutes to go this swags return kid just joined the park on a s inside center now he wants to troll my shit um so i guess we're playing with that now <laughs> i mean yeah i was like a little i was trolling a little bit but like we're playing a goat tier first game and this was our first game of the six hour event but yeah swags was on an inside center pep was on a regular lockdown i was on my six six new uh, point guard build that's already a 95 overall that i've been playing on the last couple days these dudes started off with a bounce lob off the ground like what is happening but anyways the method was to try to get me and swags to get top five in each position as you guys know in this event it's top five leaderboards for each position so i'm at shooting guard he's at center so the method was okay i'm gonna go for points um, and maybe some steals now and that you know here and there and then he our center is going to go for rebounds you know blocks and then every assist so i wasn't really allowed to score or didn't really prefer to score unless he assisted it now he was also on an inside center and usually he plays on popper and i'm on a 6-6 guard build so what we figured out by the event end of the event is that we're never playing with the inside center again. <laughs> like he's gonna have to play on his power because my six six guard build ended up being like too slow to work with the inside. You know, you could work with the inside on threes, but competitively, it's not gonna work very well unless you are a lot faster than a six six build. Because we don't have the courtesy of me driving to the basket and scoring because the inside the center is gonna be there, and we don't have the courtesy of you know hitting the pop because he can't shoot. But as you can see in this first game, we're destroying, and every single time uh, the other team you know misses shot. I'm leaking out in the break, just like in the 5v5 event. I'm trying to score as many points as possible. So the goal is to get as many defensive stops as possible. Then we're when we're up a lot, like right here, when we're up nine, I can either A, leak out, or just B, just pure cherry pick, right? You see they're found right here. We're already up 13 to four. I already have takeover. Now, in the beginning of the event, we, we were throwing lobs because we thought maybe lobs would be good, but we found out that lobs weren't the method either, okay? So we were kind of testing a lot of everything, but what we ended up figuring out that the best method for this event if you guys want to eventually win a 3v3 event like this is you're gonna to have to be on a point a point guard that could score the ball a lockdown of course and then preferably a center that can shoot the ball as well so you see right here i'm throwing lobs from half court like we're cherry picking lobs we're trying to get as many my points as possible and end the games as fast as possible because of course this is a six hour event this is a marathon not a race so yes we are racing for these games to end but we have to, you know, consistently be ending games at a decent rate throughout the entire event. So if we do play good teams, 
you know, we can't necessarily rush the game. We got to, you know, get out there with the win. Okay. So, but you're going to see how this lineup eventually does struggle a little bit in this event with this inside center. We're going to, we're going to explain it. We end up switching to a popper. But anyways, first game in the books. And you guys know the method I usually do in events that aren't like 5v5. I join off someone in the event center. We squad up and we get right back into the tunnel because for whatever reason, as you can see, I'm in sixth place after one game. For whatever reason, that is faster than loading through the menus. And like I said, we're trying to get as many games as possible. So that might give us an extra game or two by the end of the event, which could end up winning us the event. And like I said, we're trying to go for that top three for the 3v3 combine. Okay. We don't want to just settle for the top five, but if we get top five, we'll take it as well. But as you can see, we're cherry picking to start this game five to five, hit a yellow right there. Game two right here. This dude just giving me too much space, but we're trying to still go for lobs in early on in this event. But we ended up, you know, finding out that there's no point of going for these lobs. They were taking extra time, but some of them were going getting thrown out of bounds and it just wasn't giving us extra my points. How many my points was I getting a game in this event? Probably around like nine to 11K, but as you can see, I got heat checks, still throwing lobs, and right now I have eight points and six assists. End up finishing off the game right there with a three, join the event center, and load right back out. Sometimes I would get like an error code message like that, which means I'd have the dashboard, but as you can see, after two games, I'm in first place. First place with 19.5K my points, and look at this game. We are playing three GOAT tiers in our third game. First game, we played one GOAT tier. Now we're playing three GOAT tiers. So this team is clearly very good. So we're like, okay, we got to lock in. We might not have to go for my points, but we're just going to go for the win while trying to get a decent amount of my points. So first possession, I'm telling Spikes to cut. And as you can see, look at how high the defense is playing me. Like they're playing sides and they're pressuring up high on me because they know Swags can't shoot. So we get a slip right there. It's just a massive disadvantage playing with an inside center. It, especially when the inside center doesn't really set big body screens can't tie flops like that and isn't necessarily getting like every rebound compared to a popper you know what i mean like a lot more rebounds than a popper if that makes sense so anyways two to two we get a stop right there these dudes are fouling they're pressuring me they're not trying to let me even breathe okay but we end up getting a decent open shot right there but i shot it a little late so they get a 33 percent do i agree with that contest not really but anyways magic johnson cross over to the left midi trying to get something to go to get the heat check the the green machine and the takeover moving here two point lead we're trying to get as many stops as possible and look at my boy pep getting another stop for me me Come on now. That's my lockdown right there. He be getting a lot of stuff. Pep is an elite lockdown. He, he's He's got my vouch. Anyways, we get another, you know, cut right here. Doesn't end up working out, but they both crash. So I end up getting a wide open three out of it. But the offense is clearly looking rusty in our first competitive game of the event. Like we're scoring, but it's not like as easy as we would be scoring if my center was a, on a popper build. When I say a popper, I mean he can just shoot the ball, okay? If, he, if some of you guys don't know what that means. Uh, but anyways, we're playing good defense right here. Oh my God, Pep is in the lane. We get another steal. We're up seven to two now. This lockdown is pressing me. He almost rips me. I mean, it's like, dude, I cannot breathe. I mean, he is all over me. I imagine Johnson cross over him and they get a jump ball. And at this point, it's like, yo, I mean, like, this is insane, right? Like, we could not, we're struggling to score, but we're winning, but it's like, we also are not like, I don't know. It's just, it's a rough game. It's a tough game. It's what we like to call a hell game. Like it's not going to be an easy game and it's going to take long right here. This dude decks his off ball off the off ball screen. Gets a wide open three. Great shot. Great play by them. And they cut the lead to just two. And look at this dude's bumping me again. I'm getting, I'm getting no space for this. He's going right around the screens. The screens are not, you know, get big. We're getting the standing dunks though. At least, you know, he's on a seven foot build. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Seven foot. They, they pop. He could have shot that, but I think he's on the inside. They try to dot the corner. I'm guarding that, though. I have an 81 seal on my build as well, uh, but this build doesn't have nearly as much defense as my other 6-6 six -six build, and he gets a wide-open fader, and he makes it. So now they cut the lead to just a one-point lead, and we were already ready struggling to score. Like, look at this. We're lucky that the other center is not in those lanes because he may as well just sit paint with how our offense is looking and how those screens are hitting because they're not really connecting much, and if you're on an inside center, the two things that you need to do the best is a nail the, the the lockdown with the screen and b like get crazy amounts of rebounds compared to well you know poppers and this is a popper that we're playing against right there but he misses the mid-range 11 to 8 we're trying to throw the break gets the easy dunk and now we get our five point lead so now we're feeling a little more comfortable i have takeover i have five points four assists so i got some pretty good stats for the event so maybe you know one more stop and it's a guaranteed win right so this dude comes around the screen he shoots that and he grains a seven percent and i had box out too so that would have been a stop 
if he missed that but we couldn't get it right so a hit twice he can't shoot that because he's on inside center and look at these dudes they are playing so high he almost gets another steal right there and look at this screenshot right here look at how they're playing me they are giving swags a wide open dunk they are literally double doing me on and off ball they end up getting a steal because swags doesn't be aggressive right there he should have probably ran to the basket at least at least for a second whether he was going to go scored or not I mean, it's clear that how their defense is being ran. You see, I'm guarding the back door, though. They set an illegal screen, so we do get a stop. We're up to trying to get a bucket right here. I just hit Swags with a guaranteed slip because at this point, I'm a little frustrated because the offense is just not going as easy as it usually does. So I'm taking our points when we get our points. But Pep, our lockdown gets another clutch stop. I'm trying to hit Swags right here because this lockdown's all over me. I'm not trying to get ripped. Y'all know how the steals are in this game. So I'm just trying to be patient. I'm trying to, you know, be be you know i'm not trying to give up you know another turnover right so we make him jump i don't know where that boy was going but we get the midi and now we're up six points so another comfortable lead once again so as long as we just don't give up a three right here you know just stay grounded play good defense and then i drop from the corner i don't know what i was doing horrible defense by a boy but hey we make mistakes and that's why i show every game in this event so y'all can see when i'm playing good like right here that front face shot was a fantastic shot gets us a three to go up six and i also show you guys when i'm playing bad and yeah if we lose games in the events i'm gonna show them if we win games in the events i'm gonna show them because I, that's why i like to show every single game in these events so you guys can see the reality of what happens and what it takes to win some of these events some of them look ugly some of these event wins look good and this event win is gonna look ugly sometimes you see we get the wide open fade just trying to get off the court we end up winning that game by five points could it have been a lot easier yes it was kind of a struggle game but we got out of there with the win and that's all that matters now we go right back into the tunnel and you know we are now fifth place so i'm top five that's good you know we're four games in already been top five except after the first game so basically besides from the first game we've been top five every single game right we get into this next game hit this fadeaway three get us out of there i'm literally shooting yellows to get us out of some of these games bro like i'm locked in right now i'm trying to just end games as fast as possible we're starting to play some easier games as well so we're still throwing lobs at this rate so at this point in the event we still hadn't figured out that okay we should just go for i should just go for points and the center should just go for assists but eventually we do figure that out but yeah we're trying to end games i'm still fifth place and at this point i'm like okay i'm trying to look at who's fourth who's third how many points they have so i can kind of keep track of when when we're ending games and really try to hawk those guys in front of me and track them down to eventually pass them as you can see we're still throwing lobs here i'm getting a contest as soon as i get the contest i'm leaking out it doesn't throw me out though these dudes are flopping they're giving up so we just throw another lob and we get straight out of that game now this compared to the 5v5 event obviously they were both six hours but this event was just a lot i feel like it was a little more stressful as you see we're playing more goat tiers right here another sweaty game so it's time to lock in for another competitive game so as you can see swag trying to hit him with the screen doesn't really touch him but we get the slip to go easy lob to start the game that's giving us some good my points too then swag gets the block and somehow that is our ball so we're off to a fantastic start to start this game i get a wide open midi to get that green machine takeover and heat check going so now we're up four to zero they get this horrible pass animation had to have been because he had low pass accuracy or something and now we get the ball right back so now we're up four to zero with the ball i should have shot that open three i'm not gonna lie i just wasn't expecting to be open swags is begging for the assist so i have to try to give him this assist so he hits me i'm trying to score immediately but he kind of you know gets hit by that screen pretty hard so that's a good screen right there six to zero he was struggling to get around that so we're up six to zero to start this game a fantastic start against this comp team look at a pet blocking his layups i mean they have nothing he gets that layup no that's off too we all on the fast break but then that lane steal right there just changed everything a richard sherman catch turning into a three ball and now it's just a three-point game now swags wants his assist he's trying to win the event so i'm trying to get him assist it's not there try to hit the slip he throws it back even though he has an open dunk i have nothing here they're playing sides they're playing super high on the screens not allowing any shots up by me so we take another slip right there so it's eight to three we're trying to get another stop right here to really secure a good blowout game he shoots a bad shot i mean it's actually a pretty good shot but he shot in early okay so it's eight to three if we get a bucket right here it's looking really good i have an open three i didn't i thought he was gonna jump so i didn't shoot it i went to go magic johnson cross for the midi he wasn't there we throw another lob we get it to go so now we're up 10 to three this is looking like a free game right now we're getting a hell of lobs i have four points three assists i have takeover but he gets wide open off the off ball movement getting it to a four just a four point lead 
I shoot the fadeaway through, and bang! Come on now. I take that three right back. 13 to 6. We're back on defense. I'm making sure they don't dot the corner. And what a crazy crab shot. Somehow a three. I thought it was a midi. 13 to 9. He gets it right back. But look at me. Oh my gosh. I'm doing him dirty with the spin midi fade. 15 to 9. We're just going back and forth at this point. Pull up three. Bang. Oh my. Yo, they are not letting up. It is just a three point game now, even though we're scoring every possession. I'm trying to hit Swaz because he wants his assist. The screens are not hitting. The slip is not there. They're playing super high. I go for this fadeaway mid-range, and I hit it 17 as well. We're scoring every possession. They're scoring every possession after our first couple stops, and we need to stop right here. We cannot give up another three. Pep is bumping them around all the way to the backcourt. He dots my corner. I'm there, though. I'm guarding the back door. I'm there. Off-ball movement right here. I'm picking up for a Pep as well, but he gets the open layup, and we can't get there in time to get the block. So it was 17 to 14. We are up three. We're not trying to give up the ball because honestly, their offense is looking really good right now. They're kind of being desperate. They're reaching. They're trying to get a you know a fluke. They're trying to get a steal. Trying to get any kind of stop they can get. I'm trying to go around the screen and look at they're just completely doubling to the point where they both can miscommunicate, go to swags, and I get the open midi. So good patience by me right there. Bad communication by them. They get the off ball decks 19 to 16. If they get a stop right here and score we're in trouble so i'm really trying to say yo we got to just score any bucket right here it doesn't matter what it is i throw the lob and he catches it and we get out of that game thank god we got stops to start that game but i am still fifth place and we are almost an hour into the event i mean there's three guys there's four guys ahead of me any games faster playing better than me we get into another game and this was another comp game right here too these guys were goat tiers they were some sweats. As you see, it's 19 to 13. They need a three bad. And look at this. Oh my God. Trey Young sides up to the right, gets wide open, and grains the three. And just like that, we're in another situation that we were in in the last game 19 to 16. We need to score here because if we don't score and they score, then we're in trouble, right? I get a wide open three off the screen, and we get out of that game, thankfully. So I'm coming through when it matters, and that's all that matters. You know, we haven't lost the game yet, but we are struggling more than usual. Like, usually, we're blowing teams out regardless with the popper. Like, I swear, if Swag is on his shooting center, that's exactly what we'd, what we'd be having. These games would not even be close. It'd be 10 plus point games against these GOAT tier teams regardless. But anyways, we start to play some easier teams, even though this team has a GOAT tier. You know, we're just blowing out teams. We're getting onto the fast break, and that's exactly what we need. You know, front fade three, two guys jump, but I mean, it doesn't matter. We're getting out the game. They're too late. And now I'm in fourth place, so I'm gaining. I'm getting up there in the leaderboards. We jumped from fifth to fourth, and we're an hour and 15 into the event. So another blog game right here. The shot goes up. You already know what I'm doing. I'm going straight down, trying to get a bucket as soon as possible, trying to get us out of this game as soon as possible. Fade away three. Green, come on now. This build goes crazy. Now, if you do want the build, the build is on the screen right now. So if you were watching the video to this point, hey, shout out to you. You got the build, okay? You're a loyal. You're a W. Okay, there's the build. Anyways, we get into another game. It's 20 to 19 right here. We're playing comp. This was actually one of my teammates that got lagged out in the 5v5 event. You guys remember Hooters. And we're playing him. We're down 20 to 19 right now. Must stop. We need a stop. We need one badly. We need one. Off ball movement. It's looking bad. They shoot a bad shot. I'm up and out of there. 2019. If we get a three, we win. If we get a two, we still got to get another stop. I'm trying to get a three. It's not there. I see him in the lane on the slip. So I pass fake. Reset. He hits me back to me. And the screens are just not hitting. I mean, these screens are looking terrible right now. He's not connecting them. When he is connecting them, he's going right around them. And somehow, we somehow get a dunk out of that horrible defense by the opposing center. All he had to do was just sit in the paint. Hooters for the window. And he missed it. Snit wags with the snag a Rooney rebound. I'm going in for the lay green. 85 layup we somehow won that game and we dropped to fifth place though because that game took a little longer than we would have liked but wow i mean we still haven't lost the game it hasn't looked pretty to say the least but we have not lost the game with this lineup right here though look at this guy greening a three so he just greened a three right there he just got to steal and green another three if you rewind and look at the intros that guy had a zero three point percentage and his field goal percentage was not like an exact three point percentage it was like something point six so he's played multiple games never hit a three but this game he was six for seven from three it's just like i don't know if drop a like on the video if that if you can relate to that you look at someone's 2k card they shoot like 28 16 percent and then they just want to hit everything they want to become stephen curry when they play against you because i swear that was happening to us in this event and you're gonna see it cost us later in this event if you don't know what i'm talking about stay tuned but anyways we're you know we're knocking out games 
you know when we play these easy teams it's easy fast breaks and in the game super fast you see right here at 18 to 4 i'm just cherry picking at this point because we're up by so much there's no point of me playing defense so i'm just hoping for a miss to end the game even faster and look at now i'm jumped at the third place because we're ending games so fast just almost two hours into the event so literally 45 minutes ago i was going down to fifth place now i'm in third place so we're really getting up there we're in that top three which is our goal for this event right here we're up 18 to zero i mean these guys are struggling to score on a two on three look at this I mean, bro, we're halfway through the shot clock. They finally find an open shot and miss it. And we're out of there on a 21-0. I mean, some of these dudes in 2K24, just dead ass. They just can't shoot the ball. So that's why cherry picking in some of these events, if you're a good shooter, saves a lot of time. And that's why we're getting to third place. Look at this dude misses wide open. I'm on the other side. Easy green. Hey, if you can't shoot, that's on you. If you can't shoot, I wouldn't be. If you could shoot, I wouldn't be getting these fast breaks. But you see, two hours in, we're in third place. And we're like 21K behind second. So we're about two games behind second place right now. Getting into another game, bro, it's 17 to zero. I'm, we're leaving these guys wide open and they just can't hit a shot. They can't score on a two on three offense, y'all. We have two guys on defense and they physically cannot score the ball. It's 20 to zero. It's 20 to zero, bro. As soon as that shot goes up, I'm out. He misses another wide open three. I'm gonna take the midi because that's all we need to get out of there with the, with the W. And just like that, we're back into another game, okay? So we're ending games fast, but look at this. These guys were just not good shooters. 25%, 43%, 28% from three, right? So I'm thinking, okay, they're not going to be able to shoot. So they miss a shot right there to start. They get the ball back. And I'm just cherry picking off rip at zero to zero. He hits an open three. I'm like, okay, you know, he got a little lucky. These dudes, these dudes are shooting 28, 40% from three. They're not good three point shooters on this game. They're going to miss. So I get my midi. Okay. We're leaving them wide open again. I'm, I'm not playing defense. Clearly, we, we are treating these guys like bums. Okay. We're, I'm not playing defense. It's two on three. He makes another three. So it's six to two. I'm like, okay. You know, these guys are acting like Steph Curry when they're shooting percentage to make them look like Dylan Brooks. Okay. So six, four, to make my other midi. I'm still cherry picking. Okay. I'm still confident that these guys are not just going to sit here and make every shot. He shoots again and makes it again. I mean, these guys are shooting 20% of their, I know they're open. Okay. Right. But still like we were expecting them to miss just like these other games where people were missing. So nine to six, I take my other midi where we've scored every play outside of one play. And look at, he's open for three. I'm even going to go test there. That was on Pepper there. That was his man. He left his man. They've hit a three every play. It's 12 to six. I take the easy slip. It's 12 to eight. We basically scored every play, but they have scored every play. He shoots an open midi, misses that. And I get the fast break three. And at this point, I'm like, okay, yeah. Now they're acting in body. Now they're acting like their stats say. Now we're chilling. 12 to three, we're on defense. And for some reason, Swags leaves this guy wide open and he makes it again. I mean, he's not missing. I know he's wide open but their stats say they can't hit wide open you feel me wide open three right here i get the three and now we're down one again so we're in a close game against players that we know are just much worse than us and we are treating like them that but it's it's not working out for us it's biting us in the rear end okay it's not looking good we give up a back door now it's 17 to 14 so we need a shot right there at this point it's getting a little concerning like they're two buckets away from making from beating us i get a i hit a yellow fadeaway a contested fadeaway right here 17 17 at this point i'm like okay get a stop come on bro there's no way and we leave this guy open again i don't know what my team was doing like yes i wasn't playing defense in the beginning of the half but now when it's time to play defense it's just not looking good it's not looking good we're leaving people wide open our communications all messed up 20 to 17 we need a shot right here i'm fading a fadeaway three and at this point we have scored every play outside of the first play of the game and it is 20 to 20. we don't we have one stop this game 20 to 20 need a stop we're there we're playing good defense and watch pep he reaches in the lane gives up a midi and we lose the guys shooting 26 percent from three because we simply thought they would just miss open and we cherry picked too early so a very dumb mistake by us if we actually tried to play the whole game would we have won yes we would have won but we didn't take the game seriously and it cost us so we lose that game and like i said i show every game in these videos so we lose again but we're now now we're playing an actual good team so this is a comp game right here okay 
first possession i had somehow get a layup playing with an inside center not sure how that's possible and these dudes were talking crazy okay they eventually went to game chat and complained about how we were setting screens and how we were asked so i want you to pay attention to their offense throughout the full game look at how they're playing defense on me by the way since i have an inside center this is why i don't like playing with inside centers look at this defense they are double teaming me regardless of where my teammate is and he still doesn't score but somehow we get a three out of the offensive rebound but this is just why i just it's just a disadvantage when i'm on a 6-6 playing with the inside bro but anyways look at them they're setting screens the whole game and this is why i wish i had it i was recording game chat even though i wasn't because these dudes were complaining in game chat that we were setting screens so once again i said i've already said this once pay attention to their offense throughout the whole game because that's a, they were playing just like us with the screens anyways i'm playing on the inside center what am i i'm not gonna iso what is he, my center gonna set the block so yeah we have to set screens swags is losing control of the ball throws a turnover i'm not gonna lie his seven foot center build his bill was bad y'all know swags is a good center if you watch the event videos he's usually my teammate so this bill was just a bad build he's going he finally hits the screen right there we get the midi and now we're up six to two i have six points basically all off mid ranges and layups and we're playing good defense pep is bumping him around they're trying to get this back door i'm there on that we're covering everything i'm rotating out to the center swags is walling up in the paint horrible take by that lockdown we're going out i got heat check right now and i'm getting close to takeover one or two off takeover i'm dotting pep he's there good defense throws right back to me i'm trying to get this fadeaway three and he jumps and gets at 23 percent. i thought that was going to be open so good defense by him they're trying to get something they just set a screen he tried to pop they back door right here we're there i'm rotating back out look at our rotations like our defense is looking great this game if only it was looking like this the last game and he shoots a bad shot right there they get the offensive rebound now good position but we're back right there we're back we're playing great defense they try to throw it to the pop we're rotating out swags in the paint but right here we finally get caught up bad rotation and they get an open three and now it's just a one point game even though it feels like we're completely outplaying them i get another easy midi though eight to five and now i have takeover i've literally scored every possession even though they're literally double teaming me on and off ball every possession i'm still got eight points shooting 80 percent so we're playing good he passed fakes could have shot that three right there i'm not gonna lie but that's not his body eight to eight seconds left seven seconds literally getting completely camped, uh, clamped i dropped from the three though and he misses still so bad defense by me but he still missed and now i have takeover so i'm hitting swags right here because he's begging for the assist for the you know the my points for the leaderboards he sets the screen and look at how high the center is playing I mean, God damn, bro. They do not want to give up a three. So I'm like telling them to slip. Somehow we get a dunk out of that. I don't know how, bro. Like that was a struggle possession right there. Like if we have a popper right there, I'm getting a three, bro. Because they have to respect my center's jump shot. But they don't have to do that. So they can completely put all their focus on me. Spin jumper right here is not open. And what a great defensive deflection by him. Giving them an open dunk. Cutting it to just a three-point lead. So we're back on offense. I'm trying to get any basket. I don't care if it's assisted by Swags or not. At this point, I'm just trying to score because I'm not trying to lose again. We just lost. He's jumping at me. Another easy midi fade. If you guys saw the build screenshot, I showed it earlier in the video. We have a 98 midi on this build, so we're taking advantage. This guy takes another dunk, which is something I can't do with an inside center. This guy's a popper, so he can take dunks like that. He can take, he can drive to the basket often. I can't do that with an inside center. Anyways. We're getting the behind the back Jamal Murray. Absolutely cooked that center off the screen. And now it is 15 to 9. Why was the center guarding me on that? Because they're playing super high and they're playing sides, trying to deny all threes, but they're still giving up threes. And we almost give up another three right there, but they miss. And I shoot this back fade three while he's talking crazy in game chat. I wish you could hear it saying I'm ass. And I shoot a back fade three over his head. So who's really trash now? Okay. 18 to 11. I shoot another three over his head. Bye bye. Get off the court. We're on to the next game. Okay. So now we're playing more, you know, gold and goat tier players. But honestly, we completely blow this team out. I mean, it wasn't even close. It's 19 to 4 at the end of the game. We're trying to get an assist. I just shoot back there, even with no heat check. And we actually green that shot. And at this point, we are very far into the event. We only have one loss with this lineup. And at this point, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I was irritated. I didn't like playing with the inside. Not saying that, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys play with inside centers. Maybe you are an inside center watching this video, but in a competitive standpoint, in an event like this, when we're playing very good players, 
it's just not ideal to have a combination of a 6-6 guard and an inside center because 6-6 guards are much slower than like for say a 6-2 or 6-3 i feel like a 6-2 or 6-3 could work with an inside but my 6-6 it just it just was it just it was struggling you know obviously we're still playing great we only have one loss at this point but it's just a it's just a struggle so you know sometimes i'm getting a little riled getting a little irritated but we're getting through the games it's all good at the end of the day right i'm just not used to struggling with games like that usually we're blowing them out with the poppers so now you know i'm dealing with a little more close games do a little struggle fest you know maybe a, a double team there you know it's not fun getting double teamed basically the entire event bro you know what i'm saying uh, on the threes court on getting doubled on the threes is insanity okay so we are third place and we are halfway through the event so it's looking good we are top three and we even lost the game like usually in these events we don't lose any game so we have a loss and we're halfway through and i'm still third place so it's looking very promising right here 20 to 13 so i see the easy layup misses the layup i mean bro his center build <laughs> Who's looking at shot missing the wide open bro how is that even possible it's not even his fault bro but like god damn third place still getting into another game look at this guy this guy's shooting zero percent for three with a 92 three-pointer and guess what he was hitting threes in the game bro. dudes want to play like stephen curry against us but against everyone else they just a g league player i don't even know bro but i'm sure y'all can relate to that in the comments anyways they hit a shot right there we get a fast break three easy 21 10 loading back into the event center and i dropped to fourth place so i'm like okay third place is literally tied with me like i'm literally tied with the third place guy but they put me below so it's like okay now we got a hawk we get a nice little fast game right here shooting the fadeaway three and we win this game 21 to 2 so we're locked in i'm back to third place i'm up by about like one or two thousand over the fourth place guy because he had just ended his game after i checked the leaderboards right here these dudes are missing open middies it's 19 to 6 another ball game i'm shooting 83 percent from three with 19 points in this game so i'm absolutely going crazy at this point we had completely stopped throwing lobs and we're just going for me for the points and swags for the assists and i'm shooting over these people for game bro is jumping at me it does not matter and we get into another competitive game against some goat tiers right here and this is the game that was like the green light for me to beg my center to not play on this build and get on his popper because you'll just see what happens in this game like yes of course all of all of my teammates in this game just a warning make mistakes in this game but this game would have gone a lot smoother and i think we would have won if so i was on his popper first of all seven foot center cannot finish over a popper right there so it's just like okay that's bad so we don't score in the first possession because he pump fade and then his center was too soft his bill was just too soft to finish over the the popper on the other team keep that in mind both guards i'm a 6-6 the other guards a 6-6 but they have a popper and i have an inside so right here they're completely double teaming at the top of the key so i have to take the slip right which is fine we'll take the slip then right here they pop to the midi he misses and they're flopping they think they lost which if we had the if we swatched on a popper yes they would have lost at this point I hit eternal for the wide open three. My boy Pep misses. It's okay though. That's fine. We miss open shots. That's totally fine. Two to zero. We get another stop. They're completely double teaming me, by the way. So we take another slip. So it's four to two. We'll take that. He takes the dunk, something I don't have the courtesy of doing with the inside center, but he has the courtesy of doing with a popper with another advantage running with a popper. The guard can drive more, has more freedom in the paint. Anyways, we take another slip because they're both playing high. And at this point, I think their defense realized, okay, they're just hitting the slip. Let's play a little lower on the screen. They get another back door, another basket. That's like three straight baskets they wouldn't have gotten if they were playing with an inside center. Uh, eight to six, we're losing at this point. And they're playing sides and super high on the screens. We somehow get away with another slip. So it's 10 to eight, we're losing right here. And I somehow get a pocket three. Right when they switched on the sides, I shot the ball. So that's a crazy good three-pointer by me. So we're up one point now. This nation's guy has takeover through getting, you know, layups and dunks and minis. Gets another layup right there. Another, once again, another basket he wouldn't have got with the inside center. Huge advantage. And look at our seven-foot center, bro. The one advantage we're supposed to have rebounding. That's not his fault, but his build is smacking the ball out of bounds when we're about to get a stop. So now we need another stop. This dude shoots a terrible shot with takeover. We don't get the rebound. So the popper's out rebounding our seven foot build. So it's like, what's the point of the seven foot build? Another stop right here. He gets the rebound again. So we're not having an advantage with finishing inside on the seven foot inside center build. We're not having the advantage with the big screens and we're not having the advantage we're supposed to have with the rebounds. So it's like, what is the point? We're having this huge disadvantage on offense. He shoots another terrible shot and he bats the ball out of bounds again. Now, once again, 
I do want to say this is not Swag's fault as I throw a bad pass right there. Low-key an insane lane steal, and they get a three right there. And at this point, I had already knew we lost. We're down four. We should be down a million at this point. But it's like, it's not Swag's fault. It's his build. Like, the build, for whatever reason, just wasn't cutting it, bro. It just wasn't. Look at that screen right there. He's going right, and that's how every screen was in this game. He was just going right through every screen. Look at, he's just going through them like they're paper, bro. Like, the screens have to hit, bro, because the slip isn't there. Because at this point, the center sees that, and he's just sitting in the paint. So it's like, especially if I want, if Swags wants to get to the assist for the event leaderboards, I have, the screen has to hit so I can just shoot off the screen for the assist in the bucket. So it's just, it's just a struggle fest. It's, it's one of those games that's like, y'all know if you're watching on stream, I don't be caring if I lose. But when I lose in a game where I'm like, no, it was a free win, that's kind of irritating to me. So right here, we take another slip. It's 15 to 13. At this point, I'm saying to my teammates, and they're agreeing with me, how are we only down two? We should be down by a million, bro. So they get an open through it. They're just bad defense, 18 to 13. That's another thing. So I was on a slow center build, and look, he gets ripped right here. And so he can't play as good defense as well. He can't hedge on the screens in these competitive games as well. So now we're down 20 to 13. At this point, the game's over. Like, we lost. So we lose that game right there, our second loss of the event. And like I said, I'm going to show every single game in, in these events, whether the wins or losses. So now I dropped the fourth place, and I'm literally begging Swags. I'm like, bro, please get on your power forward popper. And that's exactly what he does. And you're going to see the difference now. Like, we play good teams after this. Teams that were better than that team. And we just go crazy because the offense is so much smoother. Like I'm on a six, six, so I'm slower. So I can still now, now the lane, the paint is opened up for me. So now I can drive to the basket. Now teams can't just outlandishly double team me because if they do, I can hit swags. It's going to be wide open. He's a great shooter. He's going to make that shot. Not only that, the games are going to end faster. They're going to feel smoother. They're going to, it's just going to be all around better for the event. So. As you can see, we're getting some pretty easy games right here. We're ending the games super fast. Not only that, not only are the competitive games gonna be easier to win, but these games right here where it's like against mid teams or bad teams, they're gonna be easier too. Because even these teams were double teaming me and just denying the three. Look how high these guys were playing. But guess what? They can't play this high and they can't double team me like that because now Swag can shoot the ball. So that was a perfect example of possession on what the advantage I was looking for to having a popper. Now we're back up to third place. And once again, you can play with the inside center. I've said this like a thousand times in this video, but for my 6'6", for my play style, it was just a lot more of a struggle to play with the inside, especially with the advantages you're supposed to get with the rebounding, finishing inside, um, and stuff like, in the big screens, we weren't getting any of those advantages. So it just seemed pretty pointless. Cause I'm not gonna lie, Swag's popper build was, you know, rebounding better, playing better defense, and setting better screens. I don't know how, but it was. So it was just working out better in every way possible. Anyways, we're ending games fast. We're in third place. Bro, we are like 40K down from second, almost 80K down from first. I don't know how those dudes were that far ahead of me, but they were going crazy. They were playing really good. Um, probably because I was, you know, you know, struggling in some of these games. The games weren't ending as fast. You see, we hit the hop jumper on that dude right there. And now we're just zooming through these games. It's looking a lot more smoother. We're ending games fast. We're ending games easier. Everything is just, it's just, it's like weight lifted off my shoulders. It's like, okay, this is a lot more smoother. This is what we're talking about. I'm sure you're picking to end this game right here. We win that one 23 to 12 and everything seems to be going much better. I'm in third place. As you can see, I'm about 50 K behind second. So, but I'm still competing with this fourth place guy. He's right on my tail. He's right behind me. He's trying to catch up to me. He's trying to hawk me. He's trying to track me down. So we got to keep ending these games fast if we want to secure third place or top three however you want to look at it because like i said yes top five is for those you know uh, event leaderboards you know you get the, the vc you get the jersey you get the boost but top three is for that draft eligibility okay and that's what we're looking for in this event and to secure this 3v3 event because we proved ourselves in the 5v5 event but we got to prove ourselves in the 3v3 because like i said in the end of the video there's a 5v5 league and a 3v3 league in one like they play both modes in the 2k league Right here, we get a steal, pep, coming cup, clutch. That's helping games end a lot faster. I shoot the pull up three with heat check. We win that game, get into another game right here. And at this point, we're just flying through games. We're playing a goat tier right here, 6'6", six, six, point guard. But it doesn't matter, bro. 20 to nine, pep playing great defense right here. He's picking up full court. I almost get that lane right there. They end up trying to pass out. We get almost a steal by jumping. They miss wide open. I'm on the break, and we're just ending these games super fast. This dude's trying to press me right here at 20 to 9. I take the easy hop jumper, Jimmy Butler, Faye Green. And yes, that is 
Hop Jumper, Jimmy Butler. And as you can see, yes, we were getting like 9 to 11K game. I'm in third place still. And this dude is like literally 4K behind me. He ends games. What I ended up noticing was he was ending games right after I was ending them. Like literally seconds within like a two minutes at most ending a game after me. So we were, you know, about 4 or 5K ahead of him. But then we were playing this team right here. All GOAT tiers. And these guys were also on the leaderboards for this event. So we knew... We were in for an uh, intense, you know, may potentially struggle game. So he doesn't shoot the three off that screen. They get the easy standing dunk to start the game, and we're down two to zero. Right here, I dropped the basket. I was trying to do a floater. It gave me a layup. So we end up not scoring right there. Two to zero, trying to get a stop. So a very bad start to this game. I come out the corner. He does not pass it. He is not looking to pass that corner at all. They set a big screen. We don't get the lane. They get another dunk. And he doesn't shoot that open three. That's two possessions in a row. The point guard did not shoot the open three. Then they get a block right here off a back scratcher. I'm back on defense. We're down four to zero. They hit the center. Horrible take. They could have gone up six or seven to zero. And now it's four to zero. We have the ball. So we're like, okay, we, let's get back into this game. We're, we got to stop. Let's go ahead. Get a bucket. We haven't, we have had three possessions and we have not scored. It's time to score the ball. So I go over here, hit swags on the easy midi pop. It drags him in, but Hey, we scored. And that's all that matters. So four to two. Now it's time to get a stop. So this Olu kid goes up for the midi, shoots that great crab midi shot by him. So now it's six to two. Now, I hit Swags in the pop because they're doubling me. He shoots the open three. And look at Pep with the clutch rebound. That was a very underrated clutch rebound. He throws it back to Swags. Throws it back to me. I'm getting double teamed off ball right here. I'm telling Swags to slip. I dot Pep in the corner. And what a pass. 63 pass I see, by the way. Dotting that corner. Anyways, back on defense. One point game. This dude already has sharp takeover off his three assists. And he is still not shooting the ball. I drop him in the corner. And he misses open. What an very important shot then i hit my boy pep on the open three and he misses so the locks trade open miss threes he's trying to get a three off the step back and i'm there in the lane a crazy lane seal to get it back but swags what is he doing shoots a heavily three-pointer waited maybe a little too long to shoot the ball so after getting two clutch stops we did not get a single point out of it so six to five we are literally down one we're trying to get another stop. And this Luke kid was passing up a, a crazy amount of open shots, over dribbles, and shoots a bad shot. Even though it's an open, probably not the best shot to shoot there. Six to five. We're hitting Swags right here. I'm trying to get open for something. I get the open fadeaway three. He's putting the hand up, but it don't matter. And that gives us a two-point lead. Honestly, we should be up by way more than two. But look at this amazing shot that Olu gets right there with the easy crab three-pointer. Nine to eight, we're down one. We just traded three-pointers. I'm hitting Swags on the slip. He doesn't end up going up with it. Don't blame him because he got a horrible animation on that layup attempt. Hit him on the pop. He hits me back. Shoot this three right here, and I miss it 20%, but hit that clutch rebound. They tried to leak out. It cost him, but oh my, I missed it. It doesn't cost them, and he gets a fadeaway three, and he greens it. Wants a change of possessions right there completely changing the game. We could have gone up 11 to nine. Now we're down 12 to eight. We get another turnover. They get a lob and now we're down 14 to eight. This is not looking good. Down six, shooting the fadeaway in the corner. Green, we needed that. Down three points. We need to stop this Luke kid. It feels like he's had to take over the whole game. Crab, oh my God, he almost made it. Almost got the and one three. Amazing foul bar boy Pep who gets crab for another midi and he missed it. Gets the ghost contest. We throw it back down 14 to 11. I'm telling Swags to slip, but I get the open three and that's green. Back to bed, three pointers, getting us from down six to a tie ball game. And just like that, we are back into it. Swags with great defense on the slip. We're playing good defense and the ball goes out of bounds and it's ours. Yo, can we take the lead right here? I got takeover. I'm running over to the left. He's jumping at me. Fade away three, green, that's three in a row. We are on a nine. Oh, actually, in a, are we on? Yeah, 9 0 -oh run right there. Back door. I'm walling up. He's not getting. Oh, and he made it. He made that. Okay. Up one. I have takeover and heat check. It's not looking good for the other team. I'm going to the left. Another fadeaway three. And that's green. I'm coming through when it matters. Grabbing. Good, good. Great jump. But what the fuck? What? Yo. I mean, you heard, we were streaming this. Like I said, go follow the Twitch if you haven't already. 
I mean, my reaction to that says it all. This dude just made an and one through. We somehow still get out of there with the win. But yo, if that ha if that shot went in against you, what would your reaction be? Let me know in the comments because if we lost because of that somehow, oh my God, I would have been mad, bro. That, that is insane. Okay, anyways, we get out of there with the win. And look at this game. I mean, these dudes could not score on a three on two. They're fouling me. They're, they're down 18 to zero. How do we tell them they're losing regardless if they foul me for the rest of the game? 21 all on the threes. Oh my God. It ain't 21 all on the threes is absolutely insanity, bro. Like, I am personally not taking that. Anyways, we're in third place. I am 40, like, 8K behind second. So we're probably not getting a second. We're playing more GOAT tiers right here. And once again, fourth place is right behind me. This dude's on a whole slasher, by the way. He had a 97 driving dunk with a zero three point percentage i got take over though trey young to the left trey young to the right and heat check and that is green gets off my car he ain't guarding me out there the heck is he talking about come on man we get into another game right here and at this point you know we've come over the hump we you know we were playing with the inside center struggling with that and you know we got through that we you know we're playing good defense we're playing on the popper now, and we're going through games. We're beating the comp teams with this popper lineup. We're back on our BS, man. We're back doing what we do best. 49 minutes left. We are just 3,000 my points ahead of fourth. It is coming down to the wire to get top three in this event. 18 of five. I'm going out to cherry pick. Strides with the clutch steal. I'm backing up for the three to end the game. And that, just like that, I mean, backing up for that three right there was actually big. Because if I hit, just shoot the midi, the game is going to take like an extra minute. So we get out of that game right there, get right back into another one. And we have like 40 something minutes left of this event. Like, it's all coming down to this. This dude's right behind me. We shoot the crab three pointer, get it to go. I mean, and as you're going to see when we look at these leaderboards, I am literally. 12k ahead but he finishes the game right after that so i'm like 4k ahead after like the first possession of this game so he's still right behind me like if we even have one game where we ended a little later and he gets more my points than me i could go down the fourth place so every game every possession matters right now and we are getting the perfect games right now because we are ending games super fast and i remember on stream like checking leaderboards getting through these games fast. I was ending games super fast. Like there was one game that would end in like a minute and a half and I would check leaderboards and he ended with, he got a minute and a half game too. It was an insane race to the finish line right here. So I was sweating. I was like, bro, okay, right here. You see, I dropped a fourth after the game before, but after the updated game, I go back in front of him. So now when I'm in a game, he goes ahead of me. And when I get out of game and he's in a game, I'm ahead of him. So we're going, we're switching places back with third and fourth. We play a go tier right here. Absolutely destroy them. 23 to three. We're loading back into the event center, trying to get into another game as fast as possible. We know he's on our tail. He's down 4,000 my points right now. And at this point right here during this game, when these dudes walk out of bounds, he's in front of me right now. So when I end the game, like I said earlier, I'm in front of him. But when he ends the game, he's in front of me. So these dudes are both jumping at me. Doesn't matter. That's green. 21 to six right there. We're looking at the leaderboards. We're trying to get into the squad. It takes a little longer than normal. And I am still in third place. I'm like, yo, we don't have much time. And then we're playing more GOAT tiers. This center was top five in the event. And we ended up destroying them. So even when we're playing comp, we're ending these games fast. Another game right here. I'm cherry picking. 21-11. That's another game done. Back-to-back -back games done. Another game. 18-04. We get out of that game just like that. Then we get into the leaderboards. And I'm still third place. Okay? Now, this was the... Was this a lot? Yes, this was the last game of the event. Can we end this game before... Is the fourth place guy going to go ahead of me? He's probably ahead of me right now. 10 seconds left in the event. Oh, we're not going to be able to end this game. I'm freaking out. I'm like, yo, I'm probably fourth place. I probably didn't finish third. Ankle breaker for spin fade. Oh my God, it's a buzzard. That is crazy, but it doesn't matter because we didn't end the game before the event ended. And I think how that works is for these 3v3 events, you're only going to get the win bonus. So is the 2,000 my point win bonus going to be enough to secure third place? Or did he pass me during that game like he was in the previous games? And I dropped a fourth. It's about to find out. The event has ended. I'm crossing my fingers. I'm like, did we get top three? Oh my God. Deep breath. We're out of the event center. And as soon as the rewards pop up, we're about to see. And congratulations. You got your rewards. 
and all top five gets the same rewards but it doesn't show in game about the top three rewards so we get the unloaded boost we get the dc we get the gatorade the boost the uh, you know the, the jersey the banner all that good stuff right but did we get top three drop a like if you believe in us i had a dashboard I went out to the season events, had to go to the recent events, and yes, we got top three. He didn't even end up finishing his last game. We won by 15,000 my points. We got third place. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video. The build was earlier in the video, so if you want the build, make sure you go check that out. And make sure to click on the video on your screen. This was the 5v5 version of the event. We went absolutely insane. That record, the, the scoring record video is coming out soon, by the way. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like I said, like, sub. It's been your boy Henry, AKWH, and I'm out of here, y'all. Hey, see you in the combine, y'all.